Now, 31, I had a question coming out of section 3.7, number 45. And this is where we were given a function. So let me write f of x equals 9 fifths x plus 32. And this is a function that will take you from degrees Celsius to degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, and we were asked to find the inverse function if it exists and then explain its meaning. So in terms of does the function, ex uh, the inverse function exist, this is a linear function, right? This is a line, its slope is 9 fifths, and its y-intercept is 0, 32. And anytime you have a linear function that's not horizontal, it sure enough is a one-to-one -one function. And if it's a one-to-one -one function, that's gonna tell us f inverse of x exists. And since it exists, we can go find it. So the first thing you want to do is instead of writing this f of x, go ahead and write y here. And then what we always do when we have an analytical function, and again, I say analytical, meaning we actually have an equation to plug into. Whereas it's, if you've made it this far in the homework, you've also done um, a graphical interpretation for inverses. And you've also done a numerical look at inverses. But the one that we're dealing with in 45, we have the analytical version. We have the equation. So, okay, once you get your x's and y's set up, then the first thing you want to do is interchange x and y. So you see instead of y, I wrote an x. Instead of x, I wrote a y. And then the next thing you want to do, and that's what all of these steps are going to be here, or be going over, is we want to solve for y. So if I want to solve for y, and I'm just going to erase these little arrows here. If I want to solve for y, there's, there's a couple ways you could start this. You could, if you want, subtract 32 from both sides. That's totally fine. What I opted to do was get rid of the fractions. So I multiplied everything by 5, but you need to remember to distribute. All right, it doesn't just go to the 9 fifths y term. It goes to all of them. So then I arrive at this equation, 5x equaling... 9y plus 160, and now I'm going to subtract 160 over to the left side of the equation. But for me personally, I like writing the variable I'm solving for on the left side of the equation, so instead of leaving the 9y here, I'm going to move it onto this side. And let me just change colors here. And instead of 5x minus 160, I'm going to put it onto this side. And then all I need to do is divide everything by 9, and I would have solved for y. So I'm going to just circle this in here and rewrite it here, y equaling 5 ninths x minus 160 over 9. And once you've solved for your new y, um, if you want, I, I decided to get fancy, I decided to factor the 5 ninths out, but you don't have to do that. Um, but whenever you've solved for your new y, then what you want to do is just swap it out with function notation. And when you've solved for that new y, that is the inverse function. So you can write it out in one of two ways. You can write it out this way, or if you want, you can go ahead and factor out the 5 ninths and write it that way. But all this is doing is instead of going like we did up here from Celsius to Fahrenheit, now we're going Fahrenheit back to Celsius. All right? Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.